we begin with holding the presence of the golden white flame in our hearts and the golden white flame around us just like baby inside the womb of the mother just like we curdle up on a hammock we sit curled up at the center of the golden white flame of mother's love of soul's aspiration we sit surrendered like sweet little children in the lap of the mother and then as we concentrate and dive deep in our hearts a sweet little mother sits inside our hearts we sit inside the mother the mother sit inside us the flame surrounds us the flame exists inside us around us is the divine inside us is the divine the divine is carrying us from within and from without there is a radiating light of delight and love and sweetness and eternity and infinity radiating through our hearts and that same light exists as a stable strong support of krishna's hand that is holding us from behind we are supported we are held we are taken care of we are loved we are blessed we are privileged because that hand of the divine nature of the divine mother exists behind us our two small little feet stand on her vast hand that hand that is shaping us molding us taking us to our ultimate and higher destinies it's a hand it's a blanket of love it's a golden white flame it's a hand it's a blanket of love it's a golden white flame and to this i offer in this i dissolve whatever are the worries that i have been carrying whatever have been the fears that i have been carrying whatever are the doubts that exist inside of me the conflicts the conundrums the judgments the senses the little voice inside of us that is self critical have you noticed when talking to others we present ourselves a little better than how we truly are and when presenting ourselves to ourselves we present ourselves as a little worse than who we are and we offer both to the golden white flame our exaggerations arrogance vanity our self doubt and inability to believe in ourselves and our higher destiny which ultimately is actually a lack of faith in the divinity itself in the divine grace itself both these movements of self accreditation and putting oneself down self deprecation we offer to this flame and we become empty 
by the moment. Empty more than anything else. Empty of our egos. An ego is not just the one that gets aggressive, worked up, anxious. Ego is also the one that gets depressed, that pulls one down. We offer all our worries, all our anxieties, stresses, pains, suffering. And what we offer the most is our nerves. Often time as we go through life, we accumulate stress. We accumulate worries. And over time it begins to show up in our nerves. And our nerves itself become restless, a little fidgety. As if our nervous envelope is constantly a little shaky. To bring peace to that, to bring a substance of peace to that, by tuning into the utmost silence and allowing that silence to seep inside of us. It doesn't matter if you hear a lot of noise around you, a lot of sounds around you. All sounds are carried in the silent space. And silence is not empty, silence is full. It is full of the Divine Spirit, it is full of the Divine Presence. It's wide, infinite, eternal, palpable substance of peace and calm and quietude. It is what the Divine Spirit is made of. And we allow ourselves to relax into that spirit, that invisible wideness, that invisible sky, that invisible presence. It's the most softest and the subtlest thing on earth and yet it is more solid than matter. It is on the stage of the Divine Presence that we stand and into that we can dissolve. Dissolve knowing that I am not my body, I am not my thoughts, I am not my personality, I am not my work. I am not the doubting voice in my head. I am not my attachments. I am not my family. I just am. I am wide. I am vast. I am infinite. I am that which carries the entire world on its finger. And I dissolve into that presence, that spirit.